so we've gotten to the end of logs and exponentials. We're at log functions and exponential functions. We're at the end, end, end. <sighs> we made it to the end. All right, so exponential and log function equations. Sorry, exponential and logarithmic equations. So we're going to have to solve these. We're going to really solve for x for these because they're equations. And so with it, we have some wonderful, wonderful steps that we're going to use. And the steps repeat themselves over and over and over again. All I have to just remember the steps and then you should be, you should be good. You should be good. Yeah, you should be good. So here it is. And I'm going to cover them up because I don't want you to see all of them at the same time because you get so log, lost and bogged down. So we're going to use the biggest thing is here before we actually go into the rules. We're going to be using natural logs, uh, natural logarithms to solve exponential equations because it's just so much easier to write ln than to write log base 5 or log base 20 something or it's always best just to use natural log. And the crazy thing about it is no matter if you use natural log, log, natural log or log base this or log base that, you're still going to get the same answer anyway. That's the crazy thing about it. So you calculate only understand log base 10 and log base E is going to work out the same way. That's the crazy thing. That's really cool. So we're going to use natural logs for these equations because it makes it so much easier. So the first thing is use natural logs. All right. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to isolate our exponential function exponential function so the biggest thing is trying to remember what does exponential functions look like so some examples are those what are some examples and hopefully you know those because whenever we did it with our um when we talked about our logarithmic uh logarithmic and exponential um transformations especially with exponential transformations we circled the exponential function in there and then all the other things we talked about, this moved up, this moved down, this flipped, this expanded, this shrink, this shrunk, sorry, or um, con uh, condensed. So we use all of that. We circled the exponential function. So hopefully you remember what those exponential functions look like. So that could be anything like these. Hopefully you remember these and you had these down. So you can have e to the x power because exponential functions have an, a variable for the exponent. You can say 2 to the x power or it could have been like 5x plus 4 those are exponential functions anything with an x power or a variable power up there that was your exponential function part so anything like that that's what we're looking for when we say isolate our exponential function we need to get that by itself isolate it get it by itself all right the next thing is take natural log of both sides just natural log of both sides. That's it. So that's it. Natural log of both sides. Okay. Once you do the natural log of both sides, we're going to simplify by either one, using one of these two rules. So we're going to either deal with the ln b to the x power and x, then the equals x natural log b, or we can use the natural log e to the x equals x. Now, with this, we have both, we used both of these already in these lessons. We've already used them. So here, natural log b to the x, and then it equals that part there. What rule is that? Hmm. Hmm. What rule that we use? Because we just talked about that with expanding and condensing. You're right. It's the power rule. Yay. Woo. The power rule. Power rule. Okay, then the other one, we know that we said that natural log and E cancel each other out. That's why the answer is equal to X. So that other rule we know too because they just cancel each other out. That's our power rule and that's the natural log E rule. That they cancel each other out. Right, and then our last rule. One thing is, the sorry, not rule, but step. The last step is just solve for the variable. That's it. And then you're done. You are, you are completely done with that problem. You don't have anything else to do. You are completely 100% done. 100% done. So not bad at all. It's wonderful. It's great. It's perfect. So it's not bad. We can do this. And for some reason, sometimes people get this and it makes so much sense. Sometimes people don't. It doesn't make sense. So it's up to you. All right. So the only thing I would say here to simplify this down and make it even simpler is let's just say 
we're going to isolate first, isolate the exponential function. Then we're going to natural log it. So isolate, natural log it. Then we're going to use the power rule or the E. So simplify. So we're going to simplify. And then we're going to solve. So isolate, natural log it, simplify, solve. 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 Uh, uh, that's all you do. Uh, uh, that's all you do. Isolate, natural log it, simplify, log. Isolate, natural log it, simplify, log. Solve. All right, so that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. And get that song that's going to be stuck in your head all the, like, this whole, rest of this whole period and everything. So, isolate, natural log, it simplify, solve. Isolate, natural log, it simplify, solve. Bam. Uh, 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 uh. Right. So, sorry. Got lost again. Sorry, my fault. I told you guys, I told you guys I do that every once in a while. All right. So, that's the rules. That's our whole rule of doing it. All right. So, I'm going to stop here. And then the next video, we're actually going to start off with example one.